Oh man, that looks delicious. How is everybody today? You caught me right in the middle of grilling dinner. And what do I have on the grill? I've got a grass-fed uh, grass cow or a steak on the grill, and I've got chicken thighs from chickens that actually, yes, lived outdoors, and they were out uh, um, eating bugs and grubs and worms, things that they're supposed to be eating. Guess what some of these animals aren't supposed to be eating? Grains, exactly right. Humans don't do very well with grains either. So it's important for words like grass-fed, free-range, organic. Those are the things that we want to eat. And those are the things that um, we want to consider when we are looking to eat meat. Now, another good question is, was that animal healthy before the time that it went to the market? And if the animal's sick, do you think any of the products from the animal are going to be too good for you? Probably not. Here's something else I want to share with some folks also. Our ancestors, they didn't eat just the muscle meat like this nice uh, bone-in ribeye here. They ate the organs first. Now that's a new one for a lot of people. They ate the organs first because our ancestors knew that organs were highly nutritious for us and they contained the most nutrients that were really good for our body. In fact, in some cultures, like the Inuit, this muscle meat and steak went to their animals like their sled dogs and they ate all the organs. Guys, when you're going to eat meat, choose healthy meat and again, grass-fed, organic, and free-range is what you're looking for. I'm Dr. Craig. And that's something to think about.